Okay. Good afternoon. I'm Linda Coffey with NCAT's ATRA program. My husband Ken is demonstrating how to take a hay core sample. Ken borrowed the probe from our local extension office and hooked it up to a cordless drill. And go for it, Ken. I'm not pushing very hard because I want to let it just cut its way through. The harder I push, the more friction I get on it. And it's, <laughs> it's making my drill smoke. So, uh, <laughs> so, I'm, a, a, so I'm just going in as far as I can go. In this case, I got in about a foot. So that's, that's the sample I'm going to get. Um, and when I'm done, I can... I can take this, these, uh, these cord, these bits are made where you can pop the, the end off and just put it in some type of labeled bag and these come with a plunger so you can just push your sample out and you get a nice, that way you get a nice cross section of your, of your hay. Yeah, okay, so how many bales are you going to sample this, for this sample, Ken? For, for this sample, I'm, I'm going to sample two bales because that's all I can get to. So that's, that's as many as I'm going to sample, but I think, you know, the hay lot was fairly, what I've seen when I've been feeding it, it's fairly representative, uh, fairly even, so that's uh, just the best we can do. Right, you send us off to the forage analysis yes. lab. Wait, again. Okay, so so now Ken's sampling another bale, same yeah. lot. And again, I'm going to sample this one as if it were outside. Um, if we're outside, I want to sample from underneath. And the reason for that is that way if water, you don't make a hole for water to run directly into. So uh, I would sample from up underneath. Okay. Okay. All right. There's that sample. Uh, there's another bale underneath. But, uh, you know, that's two of the three that are left. So uh, that's all I'm going to sample. All right. Of this one. Thanks, Ken. Okay. So, Ken, how much sample do we need to submit to the lab? Well, the, the key, they can analyze a very small quantity. Uh, the key is, is the, the key is making sure you get a representative sample. Because I could, I could take that. And that would be enough for them to analyze in the lab, but that's not representative, and that's why we're going in with a core sample to get a representative sample. We're just not pulling some off the side or off the top because that particular hay, if you're looking at it, you can see the difference once you get inside a little bit. You know, it looks kind of fuzzy from some of the broom sedge, but once we get in there, we're getting some some good green hay color uh there's in this particular batch i've noticed some dallas grass and some bermuda grass but but notice when i pull that out of there that's a lot of leaf and it looks good from that but i want to make sure uh, so we're sampling getting a cross section we'll make sure and get stems and leaves together so that's that's important when we're trying to sample this hay all right thanks